One. Okay, palpation of the elbow, posterior anterior structures. So we're gonna start with the olecranon process, which is basically your elbow. We're going right here where my index finger is. Slightly above it is the olecranon fossa, um, which is where the elbow inserts into the humerus. Triceps right here, lateral head, long head, medial head. And conius is a very awkward muscle and it goes from your elbow to your lateral epicondyle. So it's basically this triangle here where my, my two fingers are, index finger and middle finger are. And conius slightly below the elbow. Lateral epicondyle down to, um, sorry, um, elbow to lateral epicondyle. Ulnar nerve is, <clears throat> stay right there where you are. So ulnar nerve is basically on the medial side where the cubital tunnel is. And it's right here between the uh, medial epicondyle and the olecranon. This is your cubital tunnel. So obviously Tunnell's sign is a tap test that we'll get back to when we do special tests. Right there. So we have extensors. Extensor carpi ulnaris is your uh, muscle that in, in, innovates or so it gives um, to the outside of your hand. So extensor carpi ulnaris is going to be right through here, slightly below where your anconius is. It's gonna go slightly on the lateral dorsal side. Extensor carpi radialis brevis is higher. So it's actually higher up here, extensor carpi radialis brevis, right through here. And then below that is your longus. So it goes radialis brevis and then radialis longus, which is really hard to see. Extensor digitorum um, is for the extensors of all the fingers. So it's basically right directly in the middle of the backside of your, of your forearm. Uh, extensor digiti minimi is slightly lateral to that, a little bit lower than the ulnaris right here. Extensor pollicis brevis is here. So it's sort of going towards the thumb and abductor pollicis longus is actually more proximal to it. So brevis is here, abductor pollicis longus kind of wraps around before. And your radial tunnel is where your supinator muscle is, and your, which is where your radial nerve goes through. And your radial tunnel is basically your supinate muscles on the back here, through here, one sec, check something, it's not good. And your supinate muscle goes from your lateral epicondyle to and the top of your radial head down through the, the posterior shaft of the radius. So right through here is your supinator, and that's where your radial nerve goes through. So radial nerve's on the dorsal side, Tennell's tine you could do there too. Palmer sides so on the anterior surface of the hand, uh, we have biceps brachii right here. You can do it in 90 degrees of flexion to get a little bit of flexion on the biceps. Short head goes from the coronoid, I'm um, sorry, from the coracoid process. Long head goes from the glenoid labrum down, so it's a bit lateral. Cubital fossa is literally the front of the elbow right here, okay? Three, brachioradialis is um, slightly lateral to your uh, cubital fossa. That's usually worked through um, a palm down position like this. You can do that. Pronate teres is um, slight, so cubital fossa goes slightly distal and medial, and your pronator teres here, that's where your median nerve comes through. So if you were gonna do a Tennell sign, pronator teres syndrome is something we kind of talked about in class. And what we do here is that what I like to do is use that image that you guys use. So pronator teres is my thumb, flexor carpi uh, radialis is my index finger, palmaris longus is my middle finger, flexor carpi ulnaris is my ring finger. And then your pronator quadratus is right here at the front of your wrist. Boom, there, that's it.